get one of the outer legs off the on-off switch and trim the other two down a bit. Solder two six inch wires onto the switch and cover with heat shrink. Use pliers to flatten the legs of your button and solder a six inch white and black wire to the legs on one side. Cover them with heat shrink and cut off the legs on the other side. Carefully cut the trace between the two switch pads on your backpack charger. Solder the wires that come from your switch into those two holes. Solder the included header onto the backpack charger. Attach it to the Pro Trinket, lining up the battery and ground pins. Trim the legs close, and then plug in a battery to be sure the switch is working. Solder three six inch wires to your NeoPixel jewel. Use white for in, red for power, and black for ground. Solder the white wire to pin 5. Tin the plus and minus pads on the back of the Pro Trinket and solder the red and black wires from the NeoPixel Jewel to these two pads. Flip the switch and be sure your light comes on. Add your mode changing button by soldering the white wire to pin 3 and the ground wire to the remaining ground pin on the Pro Trinket. Be sure everything works and all your solder joints are tight before putting it in the case. First, place the on-off switch into the rectangular hole on the side of the handle. Then, settle the Pro Trinket into the bottom hole and secure it with hot glue, being careful not to get any glue in the USB port. Glue the on-off switch in place and settle the battery inside the handle. Add some gaffers tape to the back of the mode switch button and tape it in place, making sure the wires feed through the channel below the hole. Place the NeoPixel jewel inside the handle so it aligns with the ridge inside the case. Be sure everything still works and make sure you didn't lock any wires loose. Add some more gaffers tape to the handle of your fiber bundle so that it fits snugly into the top of the handle. Hang your whip up and trim the individual fibers to different lengths, 
to create a beautiful cloud of colored lights. If you like this video, be sure to let us know in the comments. And as always, subscribe for more fun Adafruit projects.